Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tawadhan and in this video lecture session, I am going to show you a solution on projection of plane surfaces. And an example problem is like this, a pentagonal lamina having edges 25 mm is placed on one of its corners on VP such that the surface makes an angle 30 degree with VP and perpendicular bisector of the edge passing through the corner on which the lamina rests appears to be inclined at 30 degree to HP. Draw the top and front views of the lamina. So according to the given question, uh, one has to construct a 25 mm pentagonal lamina resting on corner with respect to H, uh, with respect to VP and it is inclined to 30 degree to VP first and a perpendicular bisector of the edge passing through the corner on which the lamina rests appears to be inclined at 30 degree to HP that is nothing but angle alpha is given as 30 degree. Now we have to complete the problem. So already x y line is drawn with respect to the first angle projection and then one can go to applications and go to macros run macro then search for inside polygon. The inside polygon is available in C program program files solid edge v19 custom inside polygon bin and again inside polygon just open it then go to the third option called as flat length set the flat length as 25 mm and pentagon is having five sides click on the apply relationships and click on the screen anywhere so that uh, one will get the pentagon and the thickness of the pentagonal edges must be 0.5 millimeter and it is supposed to be a corner resting using a rotate command one can select this edge and make that edge as vertical now one can see it is going to be a, a corner resting and it should be in VP so we will place it in VP so make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 one can project all the corners till it touches the XY line so that one can draw the respective top view in this position and after drawing these things uh, make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter and then a line command with 0.5 millimeter as a thing join the top view like this so that uh, by drawing the split line one can do get the projectors for the next stages properly and then using the smart dimensions or distance between whatever so show that the size of the pentagon is 25 millimeter so make use of a text command and name the respective corners like uh, a dash b dash then this corner could be named as c dash and this corner could be named as uh, d dash and this is going to be named as a dash accordingly the top view will be named as a <coughs> b and e and then c and d so after naming these corners one can say that the top view sorry top and front views is completed as per the given conditions first stage and the surface is inclined at 30 degree to vp so henceforth now one has to select the top view completely go with the respect to move command move with respect to the corner a reposition of that corner a on the x y line then <coughs> make use of rotate command select a as fixed point cd is going to be the rotating point and the rotating angle must be taken as 30 degree and then make use of angle between command show that the angle between these two lines are supposed to be 30 degree and after which make use of a line command with respect to 0 0.13 complete the <coughs> required projectors from the top and front views and then uh, next remaining is b and e so we'll uh, connect the b to b along with b we have e also so let us draw the projector for e and then remaining is a now a is connected to a now after drawing these things uh, make use of a text command <coughs> name the respective corners as a dash b dash c dash 
d dash and this is going to be e dash and after naming these things make use of a line command with respect to a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter one can connect a dash to b dash as a dark line and then b dash to c dash c dash to d dash d dash to e dash e dash to a dash and then uh, according to the given condition we are supposed to construct the perpendicular bisector now let us construct the perpendicular bisector now the perpendicular bisector in the first stage is going to be named as m dash here and m here and accordingly m here and accordingly m here now according to the given question this upper end length a dash m dash is supposed to be inclined at 30 degree because it is given as apparent angle alpha is given directly so one need not to construct an alpha so henceforth go to a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 one can construct an inclined line and going to angle between command the inclined line with respect to xp xy line or hp can be taken directly as 30 degree then uh, make use of uh, move command select this uh, complete uh, top view sorry uh, front view then select a dash as a reference point a dash should be on the 30 degree line and once we get that a dash on the 30 degree line make use of rotate command rotate this lamina in such a way that and m dash is also supposed to be on the 30 degree line now one can see that the lamina is appears to be inclined to hp at 30 degree with respect to the perpendicular bisector then with right extreme corner c dash connect c to c and along with c we have d and m so let us project the corners of d as well as uh, m <coughs> and after which uh, we have a next corner that is called as b dash now in this condition we'll set the angle of the line as 90 degree to avoid any confusions so once again i'll repeat it uh, this b dash is supposed to be a 90 degree and it should be connected to b so let us connect b to b and along with b we have e so let us connect uh, e again the angle must be set as 90 degree and connect e to e properly then again for a also we will lock the angle as 90 degree because those projectors are going to come very nearer now <coughs> make use of this text command name the corners as a and this corner is going to be e and this corner is going to be p and this is c d and m and after marking all these things uh, make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter one can join the endpoint symbol a to b b to c c to d d to e and back to a now this completes the required construction of the lamina as per the given conditions now if you have any doubts you can feel free to contact me and please do subscribe to my youtube channel and also make sure that these videos will be shared to all your first year engineering students and once again thank you for watching my video thank you guys